Hello and welcome to Retro Game Crunch, a 7-in-1 pack made by indie developer Rusty Moyer. And this really appeals to an older generation like me and several other YouTubers out there. But I gotta say, this is really fun for all ages out there, so it's definitely worth a try. Like I said, it's 7-in-1, you have Super Chew Land Complete, which is kind of like Kirby, but Evolution? Then you have End of the Line. Then you have Gaia Attack, which is another interesting one. This actually has a four-player co-op mode, so that's gotta be really fun. Next, we have Paradox Lost. We have Wub Wub Rescue, which is a bit of a puzzle kind of game where you're trying to rescue your master, who's held by natives. So it's very cute, and it's very, it's very, very challenging, I should say, really. But it's, it's so gosh darn cute. Anyway, moving on, we have Brains and Hearts. This one's a bit of a card game here. You're trying to go ahead and create three in a row, but there's also a way where you can knock out one of your opponent's cards. So it's like dueling, but different, I guess is the best way to put it. We also have Shoot 10, which is kind of like Ninja Gaiden. A very interesting game to say the least. So there's your seven and one. Now, of course, you can do this with a controller. Actually, it's kind of cool with a controller. Unfortunately, though, I don't have mine set up right now, so that's very unfortunate, like I said. But I have a keyboard, so we'll go ahead and click on a button up here for the keyboard options. And it'll tell you which buttons are what. As you can see, each game has their own little own key keyboard setup. You can see how it controls on each game. How very cool is that? There's our four-player co-op. Now, of course, that really looks like it'd be a fun party game to play. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the games, shall we? So this is Super Chew Land. We're going to go ahead and enter the game. And let's go ahead and start with a new game. So this is, yeah, basically Kirby meets Evolution, really. We'll use the WASD keys to go ahead and move. And the thing is, we'll eat the worm. And the worm's going to give us an Evolution bit here. So on this little screen, we'll use the arrow keys on the bottom. Clearly, we do not need that but bean, so we're going to discard that with the down key. And then we'll place you up here. And we'll place this with the left button. And that's it. So the worm's already digested. We can't do much else with it. Let's move on. Now the thing about this map is, there's a lot of areas we cannot access just yet because we have not evolved. So as you can see, I'm just like a little tiny Kirby slug right now. Once we get past him, I'll eat another one. Okay, we do not need that, but we'll need this one. And this should give us part of our evolution meter. There we go. Alright, so we need one more set to go ahead and evolve. So we'll put you off to the side here. Up there. And we do not need this. Oh, I see that worm. Give me another one. So basically, you have to go ahead and color match in order to go ahead and get the approval for evolution. Or, get the evolution set. We got it. As you can see, oh look, I got legs now. Which means I can go ahead and run, and I can jump. Nice. There we go. Get past you. Yeah. Once she passed you. And I believe we have water over here. Or we have a save point. Okay, we want that save point. We can't go in water just yet or else we'll drown. So we're going to totally avoid that area. You can go back to that once you actually have fins. So, oops, stay away from you before you start swinging. And now we'll go ahead and move on the other side. I'm not going to play the whole game here. Just give you guys a demo of what's going on. And we'll check out some other titles as well. See you later. Okay, now we got crickets up here. And there's what I could become eventually. I got wings. So, whenever I evolve enough to get wings, I can go through that cavern. There we go. More colors to match. And, of course, I can't do nothing with this. So, if you don't get the colors you need to put in a proper sequence, you have to get rid of it. It kind of sucks, but that's the way it goes. So, there's Tab. Gives us the map of overview, and you can see it's a pretty big map here. You also have to be mindful now. Very many more enemies. Oh, God. No, no, no. Holy crap. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play this for a little bit more, and we'll move on to different titles. Go ahead past you. And there we go. Okay, so that does not compute. We do not need that. Do not need that. Okay, come on, give us some more good stuff. We need more green. Game is gonna be very, very picky about it. Oh, there we go. That's that evolution we need. We'll try to get one more evolutionary part before we move on. And you have to be very mindful of what's around you. Once again, we cannot go in water. So we need two more green bits in order to do so. Ugh, leave me alone. 
Leave me alone, evil beings. And yeah, I think... Oh, look at this little trick here. Yeah. Being a little crafty. We'll do that, and then we'll do this. Oh, we need one more green. Give me one more green, please. Or maybe not. Whatever. Past you. Jump! There we go. Alright, so there's our evolution. We now grow... A tail fin! How about that? We can now swim. How awesome is that? So this continues on and on. And we can do all kinds of amazing stuff th throughout time. Alright, let's go ahead and switch it up now. Now this is Gaia Attack. We'll go ahead and play this. This actually plays up with four players, so that's pretty cool to say the least. Let's go ahead and enter the game. And we'll go ahead and set up for solo play. Co-op has up to four, of course. And I believe we'll go ahead and stick with the name. Now the controls, I believe, here are with the actual arrow keys on the keyboard. With Z, X, and C doing various different things. C is going to go ahead and punch. We'll go ahead and collect these gold things because they allow us to do our superpower. Which is used with the actual C key. I'm going to punch you. Z jumps. We can actually jump on their heads to stun them, so that's pretty cool. Once we get down this little hole... Oh, look at them. Enemies are coming out of everywhere. Now we can also knock over these gold barrels up here to get those little coins for the superpowers. That will demonstrate here soon. There's our superpower. It spreads out spiky vines, which is kind of interesting. Go ahead and grab that. I wonder if each character does that, or if it's only certain ones. Either way, very cool to say the least. Now this has a double dragon aspect to it. By completing each screen, you'll get the little ghost symbol. And then, yeah, as you can see, the vines are coming up. We gotta get going. So with that, be very mindful as well as we go up here, because if not, we'll have, yeah, we'll have enemies jumping on our heads. Can I get over there and grab that gold barrel? Because I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get that special ability. There we go. Alright, get moving. So that little torch acts as a placeholder for time being. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this old rig here, because that's a bad thing. With that there, we won't be able to ascend to the next screen. So the barrels act like enemies as well in, in one way, because we can get items from them. But they don't do us any damage, so that's good. Get out of here, all of you. There we go. Okay, there's our ghost symbol. So we are doing all the climbing right now. We are not staying behind there. Being very mindful of what's coming up ahead. Give me the health. Yeah. Give me your coin, or too late. I'm not going down there for the coin. I said I'm not going down there for the coin. No! Oh my goodness, get out of here. I am trying not to get stabbed by those things. Oh no, I'm stuck. There we go. So there's our next save point we gotta get to. Got it. Nice. So this is Gaia Attack. So this is Shuten. Basically, we're gonna go ahead and erase the old game because we don't need that. We'll click the start. And we'll do a solo play. Puts us on a bridge. The village is under attack. Use WASD to move your sam samurai. You'll need to be quick on your feet. Yes. We're gonna have enemies attack us. We have invasion of demons. We'll use our weapon using the V button with the, since it's the keyboard. We're supposed to take two hits because the sword's kind of weak. Now we can actually deflect enemy attacks by using the V button. Look at that. How very cool is that? Turn the tide. Hold V to charge. Then release your enemy to steal their weapon. Well, that's pretty cool. So now, oh, look at that. We got their weapon. Nice. We got their little electric dagger. You can press B to go ahead and launch it. Yep, we'll grab all them coins as well. Just want to go ahead and buy stuff later on in the game. Different enemies have different weapons. Try holding V again. We'll take the ninja's weapon. Oh, look at that. He's got the Chinese stars. Or the throwing stars. Or whatever. Apologies for anyone who may be offended. <laughs> there we go. So we'll go ahead and take out this guy. Take it. Find another way to defeat the enemy? That wasn't too hard. You're ready. Now go. Okay. So the thing I like about this pack is that it's not overly complicated. Playing the games isn't anything difficult. Just takes a little bit of time, and you can get the hang of it. So that's the coolest part about it, along with 8-bit graphics. I mean, come on. I'm the Nintendo era gamer. I'm used to this kind of stuff. Go to the peaks and see this? Holy crap. Okay, so I see... Oof, well, I touched the enemy. Go figure. All right, let me go ahead and steal your weapon, like so. Oh yeah, the enemy's weapon is so much stronger than your sword, it's not even funny. I would definitely go ahead and stick with this, to say the least. Go ahead and grab all them coins. Oh, hell yeah. 
Let me drop you guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, this is kind of like an homage to the old space shooters, like... Gladius and everything else. Holy crap. If I can remember what the... what the actual game was called. I think it was Gradius. And get rid of you, grab all them coins. Yeah. So this is very unique. It's kind of like... Ninja Gaiden meets Space Shooter. It's still pretty fun. All right, get out of here, all you clouds. Okay. So we'll go ahead and switch it up right now. This has been Shoe 10, and we are getting our butt kicked here now. Yeah, slashy. Slashy, slashy. Yeah, uh, give me weapon. Okay, so moving along. So these were only three of just the seven of the games in this pack. They're very awesome. Go ahead and check it out. I'll have details down in the video description of where you can get more information on this. Please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions down in the comment section below. Not only would I like to hear from you, but I'm pretty sure the developer would like to hear from you as well. So anyway, guys, have yourselves a wonderful day, and if not, then just simply fake it. Keep an eye out for more Let's Look At as we go ahead and check out some more indie dev games. These are quite fun, to say the least. I'll see you again next time.